there's always something so wonderful about a stack of plain papers. Hello and welcome to The Treasured Page. I'm Melanie and this is our quiet crafting space. Well, you can see that I've got a lovely pile of tea stained papers and I have been practicing with a spray bottle and laying out plastic on my dining room table. And I've been looking at tea, different types of tea, but um, what I've used here is normal black tea and red bush tea, so Rudabosch tea, and I've just sprayed it on with a sprayer that you, the sort of thing that you would spray plants with to just give them a little spritz of water. So that's what I did just over the top of some plain paper. I haven't baked them, I've just let them dry naturally over an hour. And, uh, then I've turned them over and, and then I've sprayed the other side. And I've got a really lovely parchment effect here. So hopefully that's showing up. I hope everybody's well. Um, I have just been recovering from a cold, so I've had to have a few days off and I'm back now, so feeling much better. And uh, that was what I've been up to. So I've just been doing my paper dyeing and you can see that some of them have got some nice mottled effects on them. And then when they are folded or bound or used for some projects. We've got some interesting splats and speckles here so that was some ink spray that I used and just having a little play putting them on the corners of things here. So this is just photocopy paper, the normal sort of paper that we put through our printer and um, some have come out better than others as usual but uh, yeah really nice colour effect going on here and different strengths. I think this was just black tea and they, they all look, they look quite good. And then this effect came about because I had put them on top of plastic. So there was a crinkle and a creasing in the plastic. So just thought I'd show you just, just to see what I've been up to. This is ink that has bled through from the other side. So this side has had a more intense spray of forest moss that was the Tim Holtz spray and uh, a little bit there that just got on it but you know when it's folded in a journal or maybe it'll be like that that gives you a nice idea for something to embellish on top of it so it's all fun and the, there's some nice colours there for a nature journal I'd love to do a nature journal this year so I'm collecting up these colour tones nice greens and browns, earthy colours, and then a nice yellow there, but again on the other side, a big splodge. Although interesting when you maybe put a belly band or something over the top of it, just uh, interesting. And here you can see the different effects of the bloom of the tea, and that looks lovely on that side. So maybe just some nice impressions and shapes there. I, I can work out from this stack of paper which journals they might be going in this year. I intend to make some more journals for sale this year so I'm starting to develop my techniques a bit more. And uh, so these ones I am going to re-dye because they didn't get enough ink or tea stain on the back of them. So they're okay on that side. And then these were the sort of ones that I think I'm going to dye again and get more of a effect. These ones will be stored and the best ones will be used in the journals that I intend to sell this year. And anything with a rip or a tear is a fair game for making ephemera or using in collage or making in other junk journals that are just scrappy and it doesn't matter if it's torn. So those are all to have a play around with as we get started with the new year. So, 
First things first, I'm just going to have a look at my post. So this is really just a little update video, just to check in really and say hello, that I'm still here and a little bit poorly and uh, just recovering from some life events that we've had here with uh, some sad news and a family bereavement. But I'm here, so hello and thank you very much for joining me. I'm just going to open this fabulous happy mail that I have received and I'm really excited because it's just so pretty so I could use this I could cut this up and make a mini journal so this is really fun now this is part of the builder journal series and we are coming to the end of a whole year worth of putting together two journals and this wonderful package comes from Katia um, over in Suffolk and what we'll do is we'll open this up because this is part of the builder journal series where we have been making journals out of only the things that we have been sent and this is part of the group of wonderful women throughout the year it has changed as we've gone on we've added people we've lost people as life has a way of doing things not everybody can stay for a whole year year oh. we started this project back in March last year 2023 and if you have a look on the playlist you'll be able to see all the prompts all the challenges and the monthly project that I put out on the first of every month and at the moment we are scrap busting making some lovely ephemera so this is from the project before so we're just going to have a look and see what I've been sent Oh my goodness, what have you sent me? And this is a little note because this was quite difficult. We were putting it together over December and all the holidays and people coming and it was a, it was a little difficult. So she's apologised for sending it late, which is absolutely no bother whatsoever because I have been running behind schedule myself. So no problem there. And thank you very much. She says, thank you for another year organising these great swaps for us. You are much appreciated. So I think that is just so lovely and a really pretty little card there that's lovely and I'm so excited by this fabric so I think I might have done this round the wrong way let's turn it over oh wow oh my goodness oh look at this how pretty is that oh, very perfectly packaged here I think um, you should start a shop if you haven't already you must let us know Katia, if you're starting a shop, because it's shop worthy, look at that, isn't that just gorgeous? All these little scrapped papers here, so useful, really great. And then, oh, that is just so pretty. Lovely paper, a nice stamp, oxide ink there, you can see. And it's just like a mini journal, this is amazing, all the papers. Oh, that is really, really cute. Look at this old vintage sheet music. And then this is a vellum printed. So pretty. Really elegant. That's lovely. All ripped edges. Just nice and interesting. Oh, that is lovely. And then these are fun. Little, very thin. That's really nice keeps the bolt down and um, a lovely die cut there to help keep all the little tickets and things in there. I put, put a little tea card in there as well I think in a minute. That's lovely and then there's more bits here to find. Oh that's lovely that's got some nice paint bits and some collage pieces on there. Really lovely and then some botanical finds. Lovely little journal bits there, so pretty, really, really well put together. That is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Today is full of possibilities, beautiful blue colours. I think she must have been watching because I definitely have some blue coloured tones. And then, oh, you did it. Oh, you've got some good tape there. Oh, wow, look at that. That's really magnetic. So this is a magnetic booklet which is going to fix over the top of one of the pages. So one of the pages in the journal. Now let's have a look. 
this <laughs> very eclectic journal here. Um, a lot of the bits and pieces on the front have actually come from Katir as well. It's definitely this fabric that I've used here and this um, burlap style here. And I can see that she sent me a little bit more, which is brilliant because I might need some for the next journal, uh, which I'm going to have to make because um, I ended up with so much stuff that this is going to go over two journals, so seasonal journals. And in here is winter and spring. And in my other journal, which I'm yet to piece together, will summer and autumn. So I'm going to remove this for the time being. This is a lovely card. I'm going to put that there. So let's see this in action. So we open up our magnetic area here. Well done for having a go at this. This is great. Lovely thin tape, much thinner than the one I have. I'd like to know where you got that. And then we'll put that over the top of this paper, which has been embellished by Joanna. And there you go. That's just brilliant. Loads of writing space now. And obviously I can take that out and work on it and then be able to put it in the journal. And when I turn this over, I've got writing space here as well. But what I could do, I, I probably won't, but I could do is have it this way. So we'll look at the construction in just a second. And if you'd like to see how I put mine together, do have a look at the link below. OK, so the beauty of these is that they can go either way in a journal. So we've got tear sheet on one side and then as we come over we've got this really cool booklet and it's movable so we can move it around the journal. So if we prefer to have it further back we'll just clip it in here. It's a very strong magnet. There we go. And it's not going anywhere. That's lovely and secure. And now if I move this down here, it's having fun playing with it. There we go. So we can have it in the journal here and be able to work on it, write on it, collage, add your photos, anything really. It's lovely, isn't it? I just think that those are really fun to make, so easy. And look, it is just a folding piece of paper. We've got some magnetic strips in there and then you have just glued on a little booklet, a little tear sheet, and that's all you need to do for that project. If you're wanting to make one, this is how it's done. Absolutely fabulous. That was so lovely. And I am now staring at some extras, which I just don't know why I've got so many things here. This is just unreal. Oh my goodness me. Look at this. Wow, this is too much. This is so, so kind. This is so kind. I love this. Really, really nice. I'm recognising this paper and I can't think where it's from. Oh, so we've got some printed vellum. We have some beautiful doilies here. They are really cool. Love those. Not seen those before. Some fun vintage magazine page here. That's so good. Lots of little adverts there. That looks lovely. Oh, look at this. This is lovely. This is Edith Holden. Um, but it looks like it comes from a smaller book. So that's really interesting. I'm not sure where that came from, but that would be perfect stuck in. And then some botanics here from a lovely book. The Illustrated Gardening Encyclopedia. Isn't that great? Oh, these are so pretty. Lovely to fussy cut out and use on a spread. I'm blown away here by what I've been sent. It's absolutely gorgeous. And look at that. That's an old tin mine from Cornwall, I'm sure that is. Yes, St Ives, there we go. I recognise that. Isn't that wonderful? These old engine houses and their stacks, mellowed by time and nature, a reminder of Cornwall's industrial past. They are often overgrown with the abundance of wildflowers carpeting the dunes and transforming cliffs into magnificent natural rock gardens. Isn't that lovely? 
And look at the fox gloves. So pretty. I really lo oh, I love that. That's just really great. Well, you'll have to tell me what book this is because um, I'm enjoying reading it. Look at this beautiful flower. Brought to England by merchants returning from eastern Mediterranean lands when Bristol was known as Bristoe. And this is a line drawing of the street lamp outside the Corn Exchange in Bristol. An old street lamp, Corn Street, Bristol. So if you're in Bristol or from Bristol, you will probably recognise that ornate street lamp. Isn't that lovely? What a lovely book. And there's an old gate. There's something interesting on each page. Really, really nice. Love, love that. And some lovely tea stained pages here. So that's really nice. So I was really lacking some tea stained papers just to bring the second part of my journal up. It's always really special to receive papers from fellow crafters because we all have that similar um, love for the texture and the feel of the paper and to be able to add that now to the second part of my journal will just be really special so this this is has a lovely feel to it and um, I'm wondering if that is a sticker maybe that that is really interesting so that's a sticker so we could almost cut things out of that and be able to stick that on I've not seen that before that's amazing so I could even use that in the printer and then cut things out and have a sticker um, maybe that's really really fun so thank you so much for the wonderful pack of papers that's definitely going to feature in my next part of the journal which I do want to be nature orientated so everything there can be completely complements that and then some lovely little pieces as well so really nice tea and coffee staining papers lovely bits and pieces so we can make some tags out of those backing pieces brilliant ephemera pieces here recycling all the bits and bobs look at the tea lovely tea cards here to go in the journals and uh, some washi tape lovely way to present washi tape here nice and flat great idea for storing washi that's tape that's been laminated so that's, that's a really fun idea of how you can store your washi tape so if you've got rolls of it and it's sort of getting everywhere you could definitely do that if you wanted to have a organization project that would be fun these are great, some sticky notepads from your creative studio. This came through some years ago, I believe. I remember seeing this one before. And I think you can, yes, like a post-it note. So you'll be able to stick those in the journal. And if you follow the movies, you'll be able to rate what you saw. So you could write the movie name and then you can give it a star rating. And then some beautiful pieces here. And then I've got this beautiful card here, which says the pier at Pooley Bridge. That's really pretty. And oh, look, and it's got the original stamp on it. Got a postage mark here from Penrith. And it says 09, so that would be 1909. So this is a 100-year-old postcard. And it says Carlisle there, which is in the north of England. I believe it looks like someone might have visited the Lake District. So we've got over here um, a message, which is quite difficult to read. Uh, we are having a lovely time. I wish you could have been here but you will have been enjoying yourself something something yesterday <laughs> love from mm, Maud maybe if I leave that there perhaps you could screenshot that I know some some of you like to decipher these things and that is a really, really lovely piece of history. So somebody has had a lovely time. And that is the steam yacht called the Raven from Pooley Bridge. Absolutely beautiful. Well, that's what you could have got up to a hundred years ago. So that's really interesting. I do like a little bit of history. And uh, best birthday wishes, merry and bright, a full of good cheer. I send you this card on your birthday, dear. Wow. Oh look, that's really lovely. And that's another old one, but that's 1926, so we're now in the 20s. Um, dear Phyllis, just a card to wish you many happy returns of the day with love from Mrs Payne. 
and the postage mark says Wellingborough, so that is in the Midlands of England. Well, there we go. So we've got birthday wishes and some glassine bags, always lovely, always just lovely in a journal. And I've got these really cool cards that these look interesting, perhaps Spanish, I believe. Those are great. They could just come and slot in and we could do some collage on those. And it's just a nice colour and a nice feel paper. And then some really interesting trim here. Really interesting trim being used there. So I've been sent some here to play with and I think that that's lovely. What a beautiful texture that brings to a project. And some lovely textured nets here with some hologram stars and moons. That just brings a bit of pizzazz. We can go over the top of something and uh, create some layered effects here. Same with this one. It's got some bubbling paint on it. So those are really good. Maybe an upholstery tape or something. So that's excellent. We can definitely make use of that in a journal for binding or securing something together. So that is incredible. And this, it looks like maybe coffee sack, like a coffee sack or something. Um, absolutely great. Lovely Hessian style uh, fabric there. And then we've got two little wooden embellishments here, which are botanical leaves and then these wonderful little paper clips here I wonder if I can just tip them out and just look at these tiny paper clips how adorable oh my goodness thank you so much Katia she has been to Brazil because she is Brazilian living in England and she found these on her travels wonderful finds that um, that we pick up it's just really kind to be able to share them and they will definitely be used you've given me so many I can't believe you've done that that's that's so special thank you very very much um Katia always sends me something really special she sent me a beautiful piece of lace from her wedding dress as well so that was in a previous swap which I just want to find the perfect home for eventually I will do and um, then I just wanted to have a look at this lovely fabric here and just revel in the fact that we've got some tickets that we can cut up. Really cool tickets and things that we can cut out. Different texture that we can bring, even maybe sew them on. Oh, this is really fun. Look at all the tickets on here. So we can cut them out of this fabric and we can use the different textures within the journal so it would have some fabric in there as well. So these are awesome ideas, absolutely brilliant things that you can look out for when you are shopping around. You may come across some of the older vintage finds and find some postcards and things that you can add into journals. What a stunning little bundle, absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to start using all of that. Well, what she sent me here is pretty much a starter pack to make a junk journal. See? I have enough here to make a two signature journal and I could even use this as the front cover. Um, I could make a booklet out of this to add to my second journal. I'm very tempted to do so, but I also am aware that I need more pages for my other journals, so I might refrain, but I think I could even use this as part of the front cover and the back cover. What inspirational pieces. I really can use everything here to make a really fun junk journal and these will definitely be added to the next part of the journal which we need to complete. And so these journals are really great fun and it's certainly a place where I will be able to now put all the things that I receive from Swap Partners as we move forward this year. So everything will have a dedicated space. So that is a journal ready to use as far as I'm concerned. It's just a starting point, not a finishing point. And we've been building this slowly over a year and uh, it doesn't take that long of course it just is a nice gentle gentle things that we can put together and then it's all here ready to go so I now have a dedicated space for my swaps and things that I receive from wonderful people around the world and this is where it will all come and live so as part of my journaling journey I want to keep everything in one place and the friends that I make along the road, I want to be able to have a space to write about you and put your messages in I there. just think this is the place to do it. So thank you all for joining me today. I just wanted to show you what I've got and where I'm going. And I will be back very soon making something with all of the things. And we can have a look at this month's project, which is making...
making um, embellishments out of our scraps. So thank you so much for joining me today. Do have a look at the playlist for all my other videos and above everything else, just slow down and make crafting time for you. Bye bye now. Mm -hmm.